So there's some sorted garbage here, and of course, don't forget, recycle, reduce, reuse, woo! Hey everybody, it's Moombo, and we are back in another Scrap Mechanic City episode. This time, I'm bringing you guys the airport. It's been asked so much, and this is a huge build. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support in this series, and if you want to show your support, then make sure you hit that like button. It'll help my channel out, and more people will get to see this awesome video. So without further ado, though, guys, I am so happy to finally get to show you guys the Scrap Mechanic City module of the airport. So let's go and check it out. Alright, so here we are driving up to the airport. Um, uh, one of the reasons why I've been away for so long was also because, in part due to the fact that I was working on this build, and it took me quite some time. I worked tirelessly, tirelessly at it, uh, but I'm really, really happy with the end result. So I'm just going to show you guys the outside here though. As you can see, I've added a pretty neat bus stop there as well, and a huge parking lot that actually has like a big wraparound that leads to the arrivals. So if I pull a quick U-turn here, I can drive up and show you guys all sorts of cool stuff on the inside here. So as you can see though, some parking spots on both sides, and a nice spot to pull in here. You can see that there's a sign there that's like imaginable of uh, a sign that would be for passenger drop-off. And over here, this is the arrivals section, and this here is just like a taxi stand, so a taxi could come here and wait for people to land, and they'd have a quick ride, quick ride home. So, I'm just gonna hop out of that car, and we'll start over the departures area, and we'll move around- I'm gonna move around through the entire place. I gotta tell you, this thing is huge. So, here we are inside now. Uh, as you can see, I should mention, these doors, uh, they're rolling doors, so you can actually hit them with a hammer. I was thinking of putting them on a controller, but in the end I decided that the hammer was actually more fun, and the controller, I mean, you would press, have to press a button or something, and it would be kind of annoying, so you can just move your way through like that. So over here, you can see that there's uh, four different check-in counters. Uh, there's also the electronic check-in counter on the front of each one here as well. Uh, so you could do like a quick check-in here and come over to one of the counters and pop your bag on one of the scales there and it'll roll over. And on the other side here, you can see I've added uh, one of the large conveyor belts. Now obviously though, this is not a functioning conveyor belt. A conveyor belt this long, I don't even know how I would do it without killing the game. But I'm sure maybe eventually we could make some really cool belts. Uh, and that leads into something that I'll show you guys shortly. Uh, so here though, uh, this is actually behind the uh, the information booth. So you can see I kind of added an information booth. Uh, usually an airport would have something of that nature because, I mean, they tend to be pretty big. And now, th this one is pretty big, but if you imagine it to something in real life, it's really not that big. Uh, so you can see though some some cool question mark stuff with the pipe there, and I wanted to mention actually. Oh, I've, I've stopped myself from getting out. I use the small pipe pieces here actually for the lettering over on the other side for the arrivals as well, and it's actually very easy to use as a lettering system, and you can make them much more compact than using blocks. Uh, so that's actually a really cool thing. So this is a new bench design that I kind of threw together for the airport. You can see it's like a multi-seat on both sides. Uh, so those are kind of thrown around the entire building. And I actually added loads of really awesome windows. This actual whole build is filled full of windows, so there's tons of natural light that can come through. Uh, maybe not on this side, if only the sun would move. So over here, this is the makeshift waterfall. Uh, you can kind of see with the lines there, it gives it a really animated feel, as well as the kind of bubble dots I put down on the bottom there. And there's a nice little seat to sit down on. So we're going to kind of go through a journey of this airport. Before I move over to the other side, I'm pretty much just going to go upstairs and we'll work our way around to the other side there. So here you can see this is the nice kind of front main hall of the entrance that would lead you up to a couple different areas. Uh, so here on the right, that over there is the kind of like the security check through that you would go in and get your bag scanned and all that and the metal detectors. And right next to it here, I threw together a pretty cool coffee shop. 
I'm really happy with the way this coffee shop turned out. I used some more detailing with the small pipes there for some kind of steam coming off of the hot coffee. And on the inside here, I threw it all together for like a quick little effect of a kind of like what you'd be as a barista in the back. Uh, you got your coffee maker here. I've used that in a few builds actually, if you see them in some of the other city episodes. And some more fridges. Uh, these fridges, of course, I don't put bearings on them because these builds are so big that uh, the bearings would actually just cause even more lag. So uh, you can imagine building on this thing after a while uh, becomes pretty tiresome. So now before we go in through security, let's head on over through this hallway here and check out the food court. So as you can see, I've made a few different kind of restaurant kiosks. Uh, this one here would be uh, like a, an Asian cuisine, uh, so you get some stir fries and all sorts of good stuff here. And this is a makeshift sub shop, you know, you buy your subs at the sub shop. <laughs> And uh, so you can see there's all sorts of cool stuff in here as well, pop machine. Uh, you can see there's doors on the other side as well, so I'm going to show you guys even more stuff. This build, I'm telling you, it's so huge that you might as well go pause it, go make yourself a bag of popcorn, come on back, and uh, enjoy more of this airport episode, because it's crazy. So over here, this is the pizza shop, actually. So the pizza shop uh, really bricked out. I tried to add as much character to each of these designs as I could. Uh, so you can see in the back there, they have uh, a bunch of uh, ovens. You could imagine them as ovens and uh, really cool stuff. There's even more stuff behind there. I'll show you guys in a moment. And this is one of my favorite ones. This is like the burger stop, right? So I kind of tried to cover the bases of a food court. So you got your Asian and your subs and your pizza and of course your burgers and fries and pop. Uh, so the kiosks in itself are really neat. I feel like you could put them anywhere really and they would work because they're just kind of like a universal food court really. So you can see that there's very much, so a lot of character on the inside of this one. You can see that you could put your burgers in the things there and slide them through. Uh, but we'll be going in through the back there eventually. And here this is just like generic tables that I threw down with a, a neat little chair design that I made for the airport. Uh, so it's a kind of minimalistic with the small pipes, but the, the chair effect is really good. Now, and I didn't put a lot of chairs here because I figure, you know what, it's getting laggy, I don't want to make it even worse, so one at each table is good enough, and apparently some don't even have any, so you have to stand and eat. And of course, before you leave, you have to get rid of your garbage, so there's some sorted garbage here, and of course, don't forget, Recycle! Reduce! Reuse! Woo! I'm serious. But, let's move on now. We're gonna go through security now. This is pretty much the only floor. It's the bottom floor and the second floor here. Uh, but before we do that, actually, look, this is another one of those slanted roofs that I made. Uh, I, I put it into the pool episode as well. Uh, it turned out really well there. It was a lot more difficult to make on that one because it was quite a bit longer. Uh, but you get to put some windows on the roof and it allows for so much natural sunlight because really there are no lights in this game. So here we go, loads of lineups for the check-in. So here you can see you walk through and you've got three different stations that you can go through to get your bags scanned. Uh, this is pretty much the primary one here with a little barrier that has a doorway there. So I mean, we could go through any one of these. Uh, you can see there's little standing areas. Uh, actually, I realized, oh, I added that in the end, but I have to jump over to get in here. But you can see it'd be like where the bag would go. And there's no bearings here either, but you can get the effect with the rollers by just throwing some pipe pieces, yeah, pipe pieces in. And of course that scans you as you walk through actually. So it's kind of like you can simulate going through a metal detector. I guess that would mean that you're setting it off every time you go through because you got a hammer and you're like, ah, you know what? I don't even care, I'm going into this airport anyway. So that's one of the signs up there that would be for like the arrivals or the departures so you could see all of your flight times. And this here is the entire departure area. So there's loads of seats here. This is one of the laggiest areas in the build. And you can see there's two counters to check in through to get to your flight. Now before we check into a flight though, I'm going to show you this back wall here. So I threw some bathrooms in here, and I tried to make them just as fancy as I could. So you can see there's some nice ceiling pot lights, and some really modern looking designs here. And of course we've got a couple toilet stalls as well. 
so I'm really happy with the bathroom design. I made two essentially just to have uh, like a male or female. And this is actually a pretty neat water design fountain, um, or a water fountain design I should say. <laughs> Uh, so you can see this is a spot here that you could fill your bottle with, and over here is where you just drink straight from the tap. And then quickly I'll hop in here, you can see it's another bathroom on this side with the same modern feel. So let's go and imagine we'd be checking in for a flight, so you can see here we come up to the counter and check in for a flight. Now, obviously there are no planes here, because I sized this for my Boeing 747, which was a huge plane that I made a while ago. And uh, you can check that out, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that plane. Uh, but I'm gonna probably end up redesigning the 747 and making a new one that's a lot less laggy. Uh, so you can see here, you can imagine coming through here, and this is like one of those little tunnels that you can come through. And right here you'd be outside, ready to go into the airplane. And the 747 actually lines up. I might throw a little easter egg at the end of the video, you can see uh, see what it looks like with the plane. It's just so laggy that it's, uh, it's very difficult to record that. Uh, so as you can see though, there are two of those stations that you can go into the 747. Really cool actually, uh, you should definitely stay tuned until the end and see that really neat little clip. I'll throw it together and it'll look pretty cool. Uh, so that's the same thing on this side here. And so, this is also the area that you would go to uh, arrivals. So, of course, if your plane lands and taxis over here, you would come this way and walk towards the arrivals section. So I kind of tried to make it a little fancy, but also impossible to jump over. You can't get over to the other side there. And then you're walking this way. And so this is basically just some hallways that kind of funnel you towards the arrivals section. I did add another bathroom here for people to use because, you know, once you... There's like a line here, right? You know, so it's like, if you're just like walking along, you got off your flight, and you're walking here, and then it's like, oh, I gotta go to this arrow. And then you turn right, right here, it's pretty much like, oh, you're not allowed. You can't go back here. So then you're stuck in this kind of limbo area of the airport, uh, where you can at least be able to use the bathroom. And over here, that's just another one of those benches. You can kind of relax, maybe if you're waiting for someone downstairs, you can just sit here and relax and watch the airplanes land and take off. And so, you would go this way and you go downstairs to greet all your friends and family. Yay! Uh, nobody's here. <laughs> uh, so, this is actually a, a whole other cool area of the airport. So, this is the arrivals area. Uh, so you can see there's more seats, and I added some cool, those cool uh, benches with the plants inside of it. And here's another one of those screens that you could use for the, uh, the departures and arrival times. And then here on the other side of the airport, this is the corral for all of the luggage that would be coming through. Again, this is obviously not a working conveyor belt, but I was just going for the design here. Uh, so as you can see, you can kind of see the back room there as well, and I think we should definitely go and check that out. Oh, but before we do, actually, this is an area here where if, you know, sometimes your bags get lost and it's like, wait, my, my bags never, they never showed up. Uh, well, then you can definitely just go right here and try your best at getting your bags back. So I find the easiest thing to do to get to the back room is just hop through this question mark here. That's the, that's the best way to get back here. So here, of course, we'll kind of see the journey of the luggage. So the luggage would come through here on this belt and get fed to the end here. So this is kind of like the industrial area of the airport. Uh, I, I threw some shelves over there just for the fun of it. And this is pretty much the way to the, uh, to the landing and uh, takeoff area. So you can see this is like a back garage, so you have two cars here that I threw. Uh, this is the luggage carts essentially, so I'll hop in one of these actually, and you can kind of get an idea of how it works. Uh, they're really neat, they're very easy to turn and, uh, and keep that cart kind of steering in the proper direction. Uh, if you can see it has four wheel steering on the front cart, just because I really wanted this to be able to maneuver in tight areas. I didn't know exactly how much room I would have in the end back here. Uh, but there's loads of room, uh, it turns on a dime really, and you can see over here, this is basically where you'd be taking luggage off of the plane, and then driving it over to this area here, which is the arrival section where you can drop luggage off, and all the patrons can pick it up, and hopefully you didn't lose it. So here we'd be grabbing luggage, throwing it on the conveyor belt, and letting it go out the other side. 
And back here, um, you can see this is just like a little storage area underneath the stairs for some boxes. And this is just a hallway that leads to the information kiosk for lost luggage, as well as a smaller hallway that leads you right back to the uh, departures area for the luggage. So the entire runway I have not painted because it is just so huge. I was just welding stuff together and I mean I think it might be a nightmare to paint this. Uh, but one thing I want to mention before I go back into the building is I'm gonna be doing probably a second part to the airport where I will be adding a, a control tower somewhere back there. Uh, maybe even, or of course do the redesign of the 747 and maybe even some suggestions from you guys. I'm not sure what else I could throw together in this airport. Uh, it's just such a big build. It's it's beyond the city. I, it took me a, a surprisingly long amount of time to build this. But well, alright, let's run back inside. You can see once I cross this threshold, I made the runway a separate section. So when I cross this threshold, it gets a little bit laggy again, but that's alright. So here, this is the back room with another bathroom for staff as well as the garbage area. Now this back here is a section that would essentially attach to the city from a different side of the build. Uh, so right here you can see the garbage can is ready to go and I have another video that I threw together a while ago which was the uh, city garbage dump truck. Uh, so that's definitely something that you could use in this build as well, and I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to see the uh, the garbage truck that I made for the city, inside the city actually, in full action. So now we're just going to run upstairs to the back rooms here, so we'll go up these stairs, and as you can see, these are the four restaurant kiosks uh, with the back doors as well, so they can have a little bit of an area for their garbage. Uh, so I put a little bit of detail on all of these that kind of gave it that very unique feel. So here you can see this is where the stir fries would be coming in from the back grill. Uh, this is like a pop machine here for bottles of pop. And this is like a steam table for the stir fries. And I tried to add a little bit of detail back here too with the ventilation heading up to the ceiling. And uh, maybe some type of uh, cooking surface here like a, a, a wok maybe even. And then this is the back of the sub area. Here we can see the pop machine that's actually like fountain pop. And this is the entire sub line. So you can see there's like the meats there and you got your veggies. There's always lots of the green stuff. And then all of your different toppings here with some sauces. And of course we got the bread oven and some storage areas here and a prep area with a nice sleek looking cutting table. And the pizza shop is really neat actually. You can see it has like a little small prep area back here that you, they'd be doing some, some vegetable prep. And the front here has like a, this would be like a, a heating table where they'd have like some pizzas and stuff and maybe even like a cool side for some salads. And the ovens and a little storage shelf up there. And the burger spot. So here, this is one of my favorites actually, just because, really because using those uh, I-beams as like slides for the burgers, I thought was a nice little touch. And here you can see I used some more of the ventilation pieces to simulate like a hood vent. And this is just like the cooking grill for the burgers. <clears throat> and this one also has a fountain pot machine. Uh, you can see, you can imagine the different flavors there and the spot to put the cups. So there you have it guys, it is part one of the city airport. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic. And also be sure to let me know of some suggestions for part two of the airport in the comments. Now if you don't mind me guys, I have a bus to catch. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. It's not moving.